Hey, what's going on, guys? Dom here. Today, we're going to be reviewing a few things that Poke Jungle posted, and more specifically, we're going to be talking about the article that they uh, posted on Pokemon's meeting with, with VGC. Make sure you guys give them a like, a follow. I'm going to put that link down in the description below in sources, and let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so the title of the article is Game Freak Prioritizing Original Games Over Pokemon, which seems to be a point of contention for fans, but I'll talk more about my opinion later. Let's get right into the article. Poke Jungle writes, the developer of the main Pokemon games, Game Freak, has offered some insight into their development structure within the company. In an interview with VGC, they talked about the teams that make up the company and their new R&D division, which has helped them to develop even more games simultaneously. Pokemon Sword and Shield are not the only Nintendo Switch games coming from the developer. They're also working on a new game tentatively called Town, which there's a trailer here. We'll probably look at it a little bit later on, but let's finish the article first. According to director and programmer Masayuki Onoi, there are two different production teams here simply named Production Team 1 and Production Team 2. Team 1 is de fully de dedicated to Gear Project while Team 2 is for the Pokemon operation. What that means is that Game Freak as a company is prioritizing Gear Project, which is, which is Production Team number 1, more than Pokemon in general. We are always trying to create something that is equally exciting or more exciting than Pokemon. Game Freak has previously published games such as Giga Wrecker, directed by Anoi Tembo, the badass inf elephant. Will I get in trouble for saying that? It doesn't matter. Hormo, Harmo, Knight, and more for and more for a variety of platforms. Anoi continues. There's a lot of back and forth between Team One and Team Two. He added, one of the interesting things is that Team Two, which is dedicated to Pokemon, only knows about specific platforms. So with Team Two, engineers can learn about other platforms that they might not have touched before by mixing up the teams. We're able to create this interesting synergy. That sounds pretty cool. I, I like that idea of um, just mixing the, the the team together so everyone gets a little bit a little taste of everything else and they learn a little bit from um, different areas. That's that's awesome. That's great team building. I like that. It may sound like a bad thing to some, but what this means is that the, the developers of Game Freak are regularly being challenged to create new ideas and mechanics. Something vital to keeping our Pokemon, our favorite Pokemon franchise, fresh. If the studio focused solely on Pokemon, it would be undoubtedly make it would undoubtedly make for a more monotonous experience in the long run. Not all of you may feel like it's a good thing, though. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below and our live discussion Discord server, too. I would recommend you guys highly t to check out the Discord. They're constantly posting news, and uh, a lot of stuff that I actually cover comes from here. So I would definitely check that out. Um, you can, well, well, let's stop before the, the trailer, and let's, just, and let's just talk about this. Um, I think the, the point of contention is coming from the numbers. By you saying Team 1 and Team 2, people instinctively think, obviously, one is being number one is better than being number two. I mean, that's just something that's just, it's common sense to us, just knowing numbers. So, by hearing this, it's kind of like they're putting Pokemon on the back burner. But, um, guys, I'm not sure if you realize this, but Pokemon is the highest grossing media franchise of all time. If they were to stop making games right now, they would still keep that title just based off of the anime and the merchandise i mean there's just this is too much i i know that you guys really love the pokemon games and i do too but i think this is going to be a great thing in the long run i believe that if they actually um make more games perhaps they'll start implementing things that we've never heard of i mean if i don't play this 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 town game or these other games that they've made it's possible that I can miss an awesome mechanic they put in these, and then they just decide, hey, n not a lot of people played this game, but but this mechanic might actually work in Pokemon, and they add it to Pokemon. With them exploring different facets, it's they're bound to stumble upon something that may work in um in tandem with Pokemon, and may make the Pokemon franchise a lot better. Actually, chances are, they probably already did that. That we just don't know because I didn't know about these games that they mentioned. They mentioned like three or four games, not, not counting Town, that I just I've never heard of. I never played them to be honest with you. So I wouldn't get too bent out of shape about it. Um, let's just wait and see. And also another thing is that with it being Team Two, more often than not, what I believe is that the game Pokemon Sword and Shield are already pretty much done. They're pretty much done being made for the most part. They have everything set up. Um, they're just showing us footage from like. A while ago just giving us tidbits and stuff they haven't even given us any new pokemon besides the starters i think we should just lay off the whole all oh, this is terrible train and just let things take its course and we'll deal with it we'll just give our opinions and criticism on it when the final um game is out i know a lot of people weren't really happy with uh the whole seventh generation the sun and moon era with the ultra sun ultra moon thing i i was not a fan of the ultra dlc is what i'm calling it but 
I think we should wait to give our um, opinions on on how this is going to turn out when the actual games come out. Who knows? Town may actually be uh, a good thing. But while I'm talking about Town, we should really check out that trailer. Let's see what is... Uh, I'll max this for you guys. And let's roll it. A new story in a village with a secret to hide. Game Freak presents a brand new RPG. The story is set in a small village. Under the protection of a great castle, the settlement enjoyed lasting peace. That is, until the sudden appearance of monsters. Indeed, the entire story takes place in this one single village. It's pretty cool. Take up like arms so against far. invading monsters and strategically select from a variety of battle commands. Okay. When the situation calls for it, enlist the aid of fellow villagers to surmount powerful threats. What secret does the village harbor? Find out when Town releases in 2019. Okay, um, that, that was not, I like that, that was pretty cool, um, I think, I, I'm definitely going to try it to see what it's all about, the way that they're, uh, I mean, they're pushing this more than the other games, I believe, because down here it states that there's like, there's like two or, there's like Giga Wrecker, Tembo, uh, Harmonite, and there's just like a, a few other games that they've talked about, but it seems like this one is getting a lot more focus. I'm not sure if it's getting a lot more focus because it's during the, the development period development period of Pokemon Sword and Shield. But um, I think I'll definitely play it. So I'll probably do a video on it. But I have a few more things for you guys from Poke Jungle that you guys are going to think is completely awesome. So we'll jump right over to that right now. Alright guys, so what I should have up on screen is this awesome deviant art that's supposed to be Sobo's final evolution and I believe the name for it is Thesp Thespleon? It's like Thespian and like Chameleon, so Thespelion. I like that name. That's pretty awesome. I mean, th this guy has like a Phantom of the Opera thing going on, like the swag on this Pokemon is out of this world i really love this i'm gonna put a link to the guy who made this in the description gotta give credit to all the um content creators out there the guys who make this stuff and don't get any credit he's he's even watermarked so even if you try to take this man he's i like this guy i, I like what he's doing here Just check out his demon art he probably has some um other awesome things on there and we're gonna check out one more thing oh oh whoa oh uh, what is Oh God. Oh man. You know, I glanced at it when I got the picture, but that shouldn't be a thing. That is, whoo. All right. Um, I think we're about done here. 